So let's talk about 2017 free response question number three for AP Stats. Uh, we have a distribution here. It's normal, an approximately normal distribution. We have to look at a mean of 133, standard deviation of five. So when I answer this question, I always, always draw a picture here. We're gonna draw a normal distribution. Uh, we're gonna label what mu is. So here mu is 133, that is the mean. And I like to write up here always that sigma equals five. And then I'm gonna label the x-axis here so we can get a good idea of you know how things are spread out. So remember there's an inflection point. The point right here in the middle is about one standard deviation away. So that should help you as you label all of these. This would be 143. 138, uh, same thing on the other side. Try our best here, 128 and 123. Okay, so what we want to know is the probability that the melon, we're gonna select one melon, and that the diameter is greater than 137. So 137 is approximately right here. Ooh. All right, it's a little bit less than 138, and we wanna know the probability that we are to the right of 137. So how do we write this out? Let's write it as the probability that X is greater than or equal to 137. Actually it just says greater than, so I don't need that equal to. Probably X is greater than 137 is equal to, now I would use my calculator in this. I would pull out, um, it's a normal distribution, so in our calculator, we can do normal CDF. And then we need to, if we're gonna write down what we're doing in the calculator, we need to write down what each of the parameters are. So we have a lower bound of 137, an upper bound of infinity, because we're going up. The mu is equal to 133 and sigma is equal to five. So we just want to be really clear that we are taking, you know, that we're communicating what the 137 is. That's the lower bound and the upper bound. Um, you can even spell that out. If you're doing an AP test, I would even spell, I would write it up here, lower bound, you know, 137, and then so on and so forth, and I'd write it all out. But when we figure that all out in the calculator, let's do that. Here is how we get to that again. We hit second and then the distribution button and choice two. We always use a cumulative CDF. And the lower bound is gonna be 137. And then I always have my students do 1E99 as infinity. That's as high as you can go in the calculator. Pretty, pretty close. I'm gonna type in 133 and five. And so after we figure that out, calculator tells you it is approximately 21%. So 21.19. So I would clearly indicate what I did here. The probability is 0.2119, and then I make a statement. The probability that the melon will have a diameter greater than 137 millimeters is about 21.19%. That takes care of part A. So now looking at parts B and C, you can go ahead and read it if you haven't already. They are combining two different factors here. We are combining whether the melon comes from distributor K or J, that's one probability that we have to deal with. And then for each one of those, there's a different probability that the melon is greater than 137 millimeters. So for this, I would love, I always love to draw my tree diagram. So let's do that. So I'm gonna start our tree diagram. You're either coming from distributor J or you're coming from distributor K. And we have to make sure that we put the probability of each happening. They said that 70% and up here, 70% of the melons are provided by distributor J. So we can infer that 30% come from distributor K. Now, given that it comes from distributor J, this is something we already figured out. What is the probability that it's greater than 137? So I will use two different colors in my tree diagram. If it's red, then we'll say that it is greater, the melon is greater than, how are we gonna write that, greater than 137 millimeters. So those would be my red branches. And if it's not greater than, 
then we'll say it's less than or equal to 137 millimeters. That'll be my blue brand. So just to help us with keeping things straight, I'll just put a little plus by this one because I know students sometimes have a hard time reading these inequalities. I know they're pretty easy, but here they are. All right, so greater than 137 coming from distributor J. Oh, I didn't put my probabilities on there. And so from the earlier part of the problem, we know the probability of this is 0.2119, right? So then we have to find the complement to find, uh, if it's not greater than 137, you get one minus this number, the complement. So putting that in the calculator, I'm just gonna do one minus my answer back here. That's the best way to do it. I'm gonna get 0.7881. So let's write that down. And then they tell us in the problem that the probability is 0.8. 8413 that a melon selected at random from distributor K will have a greater diameter. So that's got to go up here. So we'll write that on the red branch. And then we need to find the complement. So we'll do 1 minus 0.8413. That'll find 0.1587. That will go on the blue branch. All right. Now I think we have everything pretty much figured out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply across the branches because we're going to find the probability that both of these events happen. So those products are here in purple. And of course, I always take these numbers and add them all up. And if you put them in your calculator and add them up, guess what they equal? They equal one. And that means this is a valid probability distribution for all of these different branches. So we have two events, either coming from distribution J or K, and you have 70% or 30%. And then given that you come from distribution J, then these are the probabilities assigned, and this is the combined probability for those events. Whew, that was a lot of work. Now we can get on to answering the questions. Part B. For a melon selected at random, so you're gonna select, that means it's coming from over here. What is the probability the melon will have a diameter greater than 137? So those are my red branches. Those are both greater than 137. So we're gonna add these two branches together. We just need to know how to write that out. So as I'm writing these out, I'm thinking in my head, like the probability that X is greater than 137 equals, and then we're gonna add these two branches. So what are these two branches? The first branch is the probability that X is greater than 137, given that it came from distributor J. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my fancy uh, probability notation. Plus, we're gonna add it to this branch, so that is the probability that X is greater than 137, given that it comes from distributor K. All right, so I'm gonna add those two probabilities together. You wanna communicate to the grader who's reading this problem that you know that's what you're adding together. So let's put those numbers. So I'm writing the probabilities relative to where I put them in the, the uh, equation there. I'm gonna throw them in calculator and get 0. 0.40068. So I think that answers part B. And then part C, I'm gonna scroll up and see that. Given that, I love these questions. I don't know why I love these questions. Given that, I love this question because that means that it's only out of some of these. Given that a melon selected from the grocery store has a diameter greater than 137. So given that it's one of these, okay, which is also the probability we just computed, that was convenient. What is the probability that the melon will be from distributor J? So it's gonna be distributor J out of everything we're looking at. So those two added together. So we need to be able to write that up. So I would start by writing it like this. The probability that it's from distributor J given that it's greater than 137. That's what we want, right? Given that it's greater than 137, correct. So the probability that it's from distributor J given that it's greater than 137 is equal to the probability it's from distributor J and it's greater than 137. That's what this one is. It's from distributor J and it's 130. It's greater than 137. So that's what that number is right there. It's the probability it's from distributor J and remember that's that's intersection. That means and and it's greater than 137 out of the total number of melons out of 137. So the probability that X is greater than 137. We already figured that one out. It's right here. So. So I love the calculator because you can put in everything. I just scroll up and get the numbers. I'm gonna get 37. It's about 37. Let's throw that down here. Get in there. So writing it all out. 
The probability it's from distributor J, given that it's greater than 137, is equal to 0.37-ish. Now, things you don't have to worry about so much, like the what you put in your notation here, like if you used words, melon is greater than, instead of x greater, like that's all fine. As long as you're conveying to the people what's going on, you're able to look at this, like draw your tree diagram nice and straight so they can follow what's going on. I think this is a pretty straightforward tree diagram question. So there you go. Hopefully that helped out. Good luck on your AP exam.